this is right here. That's unusual. <laughs> ah. That's very nice to see a little guy here. Excuse me, I'll try to see. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. very happy. Wow. <laughs> um, Aratelas greens. There he is. There he is. He's upset. Yeah. He's a little guy. Oh. He's male, most likely because he's acting like this. Defense. Some people will say aggressive. Really, it's more of a defense act. And he can stand up, so you know, it's no problem. He's trying to go. Oh, oh. I need to make sure. Yeah. Oh, it's a little. I think he's a male. The way he's acting. Very defensive. There you go. Wow. That's a good thing when they roll. Yeah. Not, not letting it tangle itself. When they roll, they're losing their energy. The idea here is to tire him, tire him out so that we can bring him in and it's going to be safe for us. There you go. <laughs> That's uh, not happy. It's like uh, three and a half feet to four feet more or less. How old would this one be then? This old yeah. one is going to be maybe like six or eight years old. Okay. Yeah, this is the time, the size that they will, they will be feeding on snails already. When they're babies, when they hatch, when they're maybe six or eight inches big, they will feed on um, on uh, on bugs, mm -hmm. and then they will start feeding on little fish like the one you see around there. Mm -hmm. Mainly, what we mainly have here is the Mexican tetras, and you know other little fishes. Once they get to about three feet, that's when they will be feeding on snails. There's a huge amount of um, apple snails in the lagoon, oh. which we have found in our few years of research that they are eating like 70% of their diet wow. are snails, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. That's funny. The idea is to put him uh, the other way. The idea is turn him around, grab his mouth like this, and then can be mine. How much does this guy weigh do you think? Weigh? Yeah. Um Twelve pounds. It weighs the same amount as Buzz. A lot more ferocity. Tip. 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 Pero corta, yeah. Ten cuidado, no mojalo. Se mira más de sentido. Pon el primero, el todo que no mojes el encima. Jalalo bastante. Mero atrás, ahí. Ajá. Crocodiles have very little strength to open their mouth, <coughs> but to close it, uh -huh, mm. the, not a single one. To close it, that's the, that's where their very strong muscles are. Hmm? Yeah. The bottom, yeah. Great. Now, hey, little guy. Um, they act as solar panels. All these bones, they're hollow bones, which are right floating on top of this of the of the flesh, you know, in between flesh and skin, really. Mm -hmm. And they, as the solar panels, when they're sunning them <laughs> their, their selves in the morning, they will absorb heat and balance their body temperature. Mm -hmm. And they can also act whenever they wanted to, as uh, floating devices. This year, all these, mm. they have them all over here and all over their body. So what, what things are you measuring right now? We're going to measure his, his uh, entire size, like um, different measurements from total measurement, I mean total length, right. to snout and vent, front, snout, vent, uh, rear, and all. And has this guy been, uh, can you? I cannot tell yet. Yeah, okay. Because the chip, which is a microchip, goes behind the right leg. I see. On more or less between the fourth and fifth line here, oh, okay. I see. So you have to scan right. him? Yeah, we have to scan him. So it's really um, 
<laughs> Will you need so that? Part, it feels like, pla little, like plastic. Yes. Yeah. Those are known as uh, scoots. Wow. Scoots. But it's very distinct. These are these are up, Two and then lines. right at this point, Two lines. it goes vertical. Yes. We so use as he grows, these will just each link will each section will just get bigger. Bigger, simply just bigger. <laughs> and these will stay upright. They will stay the same way until they grow to about uh, ten four is the largest one we have caught here. On paper, they are fourteen feet, but really the largest one is ten feet four inches. There, <laughs> there. <laughs> It? No, nictitating membranes like dogs have. That's um, it's really it's not for them to see better underwater. It's really is for protection of oh. the eye. So it's a layer of of, of skin, <coughs> it's a membrane that will come and cover the eyes when underwater only. So they manage to know how to put them on. So they're diving goggles, snorkeling goggles. It just acts as a valve, very oh. easy. So the nose. And if we go back here to the eyes again, the eyes, and look at the ear. See the ear, the slit right oh, behind the eye? Yeah. So when these guys are hunting, all they get out from the water is the ear, the eyes, and the nose. Mm -hmm. The ear will be covered by water, and then the rest also. So they will be able to get very close to prey by just smelling, seeing, and hearing. Oh. Wow. Then the rest, it's going to be totally covered. The chip, like I mentioned, should be here. Press the button. No ID phone. Oh. New one. I want that like this. To where it's going to be, right on the air. No lo sorte, no lo Can you see it there? Seven point two. Point two. Great. I want the one. Okay, seven point two. Put him down. Seven point two kilograms. I want another one. So he's gonna grab the head there. I'm gonna grab the tail, and at three, he's gonna go in the water. Well, that's pretty quick recovery. I'm surprised he's not. <laughs> well, he's not trying to go away quickly, though. Is he still getting his energy? Uh, no, he has gained his energy back. That's for sure. I can okay. tell. It. He's happens, using his back legs, though. You can see. Uh, just to walk there, but to, okay. if he shoots off, yeah. he will just use the tail. That's why it's believed that crocodiles manage to forget things very fast. Okay.